when in-laws wrongfully involve themselves. Sometimes the husband or the wife don't know to listen to their wife or to listen to their mother, to listen to her husband, to listen to her father. My brothers and sisters, let me give you a formula to how to separate the two. Let's say you're the son and your mother demands something from you. This is how you look at it. If what your mother tells you to do, just give you an example, mother tells you to do, is about you personally, then obey her. For example, she says, son, drink this milk that I made. Yeah, and she must have, or drink this sweet that I made, eat it. Obey your mother and eat it, because that's you. Son, help me lift this thing up. Okay. Son, can you take me <coughs> tomorrow, call the doctor for me, make me an appointment? Yes. But if she tells you to do something that involves something that is shared with your wife, <coughs> then that is not her right. For example, <coughs> she says, son, I want you to have your wife pregnant within the next two years. I want a grandchild. Wallahi, I've heard some parents, they go, if it's not a son, it's not a grandson, I don't want it. Wallahi, I've heard this. So if it's not a grandson, I don't want to see it. Yani, how far do you go? That is the right of the son, and of the father, of the husband and wife. The mother has no right to do that. He doesn't obey her. Son, let's say the father says, your wife must dress in this way or she can't come in. That's between the husband and wife. Uh, a brother or a sister says, your wife should be working here, not there. That's none of their business. None of their business whatsoever. Let's say the family comes together and they say, listen, we've all made a donation box. Everybody's going to take part. All right. The siblings can take part, but their husbands and wives, they don't have to. Nobody has the right to force them and say, why didn't they come in? And if they don't donate and do whatever the family did, they look at them funny. Every time they come in the house, uh, her, him, uh, they're stingy. They don't even take, but they don't love the family. Wallahi, this is haram. This is how you divide people.